So being here in Silicon Valley for, for 50 years, I mean, how have you seen it evolve? I mean, we've seen one of the founders like Hewlett Packard, uh, you know, start up here and certainly HP is a different company today than they were back then. You have, uh, you know, Apple came, left, came back in a big way, obviously. Yeah. How, how have you seen the, the valley here uh, evolve over well, your the, time? The, 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 valley, the valley evolved uh, by, by fundamentally picking up everything adjacent to semiconductors. Because, because even HP, HP was instrumentations essentially in those days. Just in uh, measurement, they, yeah. They, you know, they had begun to use uh, to uh, to make calculators, you know, they made yeah. the first slide rule. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but but they were essentially a, an engineering company. But the culture of the company uh, was not really one to spin out companies. Mm. And so you know, so I, I don't think that in those days there was a single company that came out of people that work for uh, you know for uh, uh, for for uh, HP. But but Fairchild was one of the first companies that was financed by venture capital, uh, but also by, you know, it was a division of a uh, Fairchild camera and instrument in those days. Uh, and, and so you had a little bit of money from out, out you know, outside, uh, outside uh, Fairchild uh, camera, the parent company, uh, and money from the parent company. So it, it was a more uh, entrepreneurial environment and it was really virtual the span of These companies many children yeah. right yeah. so so uh, so virtual became and also the technology was moving so fast that that the virtual could not keep up with it so so people were disgruntled they said I mean, I mean, this is important we got you know so they would start their own company exactly like i did later myself and this was because of the venture capital or because of attractive the venture the capital, culture? You know, they they the co-evolved, right? Venture yeah. capital co-evolved with the success of these companies. Yeah. And so so the whole thing grew out of there. But then, you know, then the microprocessor came and that really, again, created an enormous up. number of new applications, new possibilities, you know, with the personal computer being one of, one of them early on. Uh, and so all this ecosystem of personal computers, yeah. Yeah. software, yeah. The software. The, there was no software industry yeah. before because because you know there were few companies that were selling computers, and you either develop your own software or you would have the software from from IBM. There was right. no was commercial software, yeah, no exactly. no shrink wrap software, right? So, so that that was uh, that was, again. So that was a big deal. Then there was another thing that started in uh, in the early seventies. Uh, it, it was. Uh, um, uh, was Genine Tech, the first company in biotech. Yeah. So the a new, and this came out of out of Stanford work, Stanford University work. And so that was a new major uh, wave that spun all kinds of, you know, biotech and, and Stanford, I think medicine said a lot of this as a university, you know, because yeah. Sun Microsystems and, yeah. and others. And, and, and in some ways, Stanford, you know, uh, there was a professor called Terman, Fred Terman, uh, he was the dean of of, uh, of of the university at one point, and uh, and he one that was actually actually encouraging uh, the the students, uh, you know, to to stay here to start activities here. In fact, he, you know, he encouraged uh, uh, he encouraged uh, uh, Ulitton Packard, uh, Bill Ulitton and David Packard to start your Packard in 1939. Yeah. Yeah. So so uh, so. So the culture here developed, and with the success and the opportunities that were mushrooming, uh, you know, by the by the end of the 70s, it was a, you know, Ooh. it was really booming, right? And uh, now, you know, from a portion of Santa Clara County, now Silicon Valley is the entire Bay Area, Bay Area. seven million people. Yeah, San Francisco, Ecosystem. East Bay, San South Francisco, Bay, East, uh, it's everywhere, yeah. Around yeah. Yeah. everywhere around here, everywhere around here. You know, so you find buildings like you you have outside you see outside here you know all over yeah. uh, and you know one thing that I could never have imagined it would have happened is that this the valley innovated even in the cars yes <laughs> Tesla yeah. Yeah. was born yeah. here exactly and yeah. Tesla did the right thing meaning 
you start with a fresh piece of paper. Exactly. Instead of bolting an, an, an electrical engine on a car that was designed for a gas engine, you start over. over. You say, this is a new technology. This is how you how disrupt. You, that's right. You're not, you're, you're, you're not tied to the past. A lot of the German car makers couldn't they could, start with a but, with a clean slate, but, but but even the Americans, yeah. I mean, you know, they they could they couldn't because yeah. you know the, the, the mindset it's, has to change, and this is the mindset yeah. that made the Valley successful. Yeah. This, the capacity to innovate, start yeah. here, yeah, not exactly. start with something and figuring out what to add to something that exists. You start here. Yeah. So being an entrepreneur and mentioning Tesla, you have you know Elon Musk, you have in the past, uh, you know, different different types of entrepreneurs uh, making big contribution. Yeah. Is there fundamental things that entrepreneurs share together uh, or are there different things depending on the timing, the the technology, being here in the Valley and being an entrepreneur yourself? What, what are those ingredients that you see? Well, I mean, is this desire to innovate, you know, and the pleasure to innovate because, yeah. you know, it isn't just the desire, you know, it, it, Oh, and, and through innovation, you 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 can change the world. Yeah. And, and so, you know, it's not just making money. I mean, some want to be entrepreneurs because they, you know, that's the only way to get rich. Right. But 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 that's a minority. Uh, the, the, here, people come here with their eyes, you know, you know, uh, you know, open illuminated, and ready to, illuminated. Yes, you what know, I, the, the, what I can do. What I can do. Right, and I, it, how how can I change? How can I make something that that nobody has ever made before? You know that that is what made the, the valley. You know the spirit of call it entrepreneurship, uh, but also a deeper sense that you can do it. Yeah. You can make it. You know, and and everything is here to allow you to make it, which unfortunately very few other parts in the world have. You know the money, the the yeah. the infrastructure, the services, the uh, you know the people that you can hire and, and take from other people. Sorry. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> exactly. And, and so on, right? But there's very few obstacles. I mean, you want to start your own company, you can do that in a few days. You know, there's yeah. very few places where there's the bureaucracy is is completely oh, absolutely. removed. Absolutely. Everything everything helps you instead of hindering you. Yeah, in exactly. some countries you know you're hinder you don't you know yeah. you can you know you cannot do anything new because just to in, incorporate a company yeah. it takes three months yeah. come on you it's know too long